Good morning. Welcome to your first day of distant learning from our YouTube channel. Um, today we are going to go over letter writing. Um, we are going to go over the five components of what a letter needs to include. We are going to go over an example of what it needs to include and then we will get some practice um, just jotting down the format of it. Um, feel free to pause me at any point if I'm going too fast. Um, I don't think there's a way to speed me up, so I'm sorry about that. Stick with me here. Um, if you need to grab some notebook paper or a scratch piece of paper for notes, that would be a good thing to do right now with either a pencil or a black or blue pen. Not a marker, but a pen. Um, normally we write our essays our rough drafts can be in pencil and then our final drafts are going to be handwritten or typed on the computer. So we're going to get practice with both this week. Okay, let's get started. So there's five components with a letter when we're doing a letter or writing a letter. Um, the first component is the heading, which is where we put the date. The next one is the greeting, which is where we write dear or hi um, and then that person's name. Um, third is the body. The body is where we write our letter and where we are talking to our um, person we are writing to about what's going on, what you're filling them in on, asking them questions, just like our body paragraphs in an informative or an opinion writing. The fourth step is to do our closing. The closing could say from, um, sincerely, best regards, there's a few options and we will look over those as well. And then finally, you finish it off with your signature and your name. Um, what's most important is that we are writing these papers in the correct format. Um, so I am going to zoom in and move you closer so that you can get a chance to see this. So our first step, like I said, is our heading. So when we're writing our heading, we come up here on the binder piece of paper or on your white piece of paper, and you're gonna write the date. So for example, today is March 23rd, 2020. Obviously you do not need to box, but I was just pointing those out to you that that is where the heading of this paper is. Then once that is done, you come down, you skip a line. So these are not at the same part on my paper. I come down and I write, Dear, and then today I wrote you all a letter. So mine says, Dear students. Um, but if you were writing this to your mom, Dear mom, if you were writing this to a friend named Eric, you would write, Dear Eric, and then you need to finish it off with a comma. Then we have our third step, which is our body. So we are going to skip another line, and just like we do with every other paragraph, we are going to indent. So either you click the tab button on your computer, or you go in five spaces, or on your binder piece of paper, it should be about two spaces. I made mine much bigger so that you could see it. Um, and then you write what you want your reader to know, or ask them questions. Um, so mine says, dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing well. I miss seeing and teaching you in class every day. How was your spring break? I'd love to hear about three activities you did over break. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. And then I finish it off by saying sincerely, which is my closing and the fourth step, and then my signature or my name. When we are writing um, letters on paper, we normally try to write our name in cursive. So if you are doing yours on cursive this week, I am going to ask that you challenge yourself to use your cursive writing and what you know of cursive writing to answer it or to write your name in cursive. It's okay. We all are just trying and practicing. So it's okay if it looks a little silly. We'll get extra practice at it. So the point of mine was to check in on you and to see how you are doing and to see what you did over spring break. So this week you are going to get a chance to respond to myself or Mrs. Sunshine, either or, um, 
If you do not have Google Classroom on your computers, then you are more than welcome to write a handwritten letter and then take a picture of it and send it to us. Um, if you do have Google Classroom, you will respond to this. But for today, I am going to challenge you. Today's assignment, just for Monday's assignment, you're not writing a letter yet. You are going to try to play around with your Google Classroom account and you are going to try to set up your paper just as ours is. You can just write some sentences here if you want. This is not going to be for us to respond to you yet. This is just making sure that you can format an, a letter correctly. So when you go to your Google Classrooms, you're going to open up a document. You are going to start by going all the way over to the far right hand side of your computer, typing the date, clicking enter, which should take you back to the left side. You'll write dear and then somebody's name or two and somebody's name and then you will write a few sentences, click enter, click the tab button about seven or eight times so that it takes you over to the far right hand side. You can use sincerely, you can use from, you can use best wishes, and then a comma again, and then your name. If you would like to change the font so that it's cursive or just your name, you can. And then you will turn it into us once you get the format correct. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do a review of the five components that are needed within your letter writing. And then I will have one that you are going to practice typing. And then Wednesday through Thursday we will format our own letters and write our own letters to either Mrs. Sun and Shine, myself, or a friend that you have not seen within the last few weeks. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I am more than happy to answer any that I can. Have a good day.